Hi everyone, so today we're gonna try to find out who would win in a fight between Graham's number of ants and Thanos with all six infinity stones. So this is actually a, um, a question or a comment that appears pretty frequently in my video on Graham's number of ants versus Googleplex Marines. A lot of people, you know, brought that up. They're saying who would win? Of course, to most people, um, I think a lot of people, this is an easy question. I think most people would pick Thanos with infinity stones because all he needs to do is just snap his fingers and you know all the ants doesn't matter how many ants it would just disappear or turn to dust or whatever but is that simple is it that simple or is it something else um, so actually um, first of all we have to look at actually how powerful is the are the infinity stones um, so basically um, I think I'm not sure you know myself I have to admit I'm not a um, Marvel expert or even comic book expert but at least I've seen some of the movies you know um, and read a little bit about it so basically the infinity stones is it really infinite power I'm sure a lot of people fans or the comic book would say infinite power but i would say this actually is kind of a plot hole or you know writing errors or whatever you know it's because you know it doesn't make sense to give a very very big number you know it's just easier to say infinite because a lot of people use the word infinite is way is a overly used words which is pretty much not correct all the time but anyway um, it's just another word for saying something that is you know has no limit or something that is very 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 powerful or very 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 big they just use infinite um, but at least I think there are some known facts that it they only work in his universe or presumably the Marvel Universe and outside of it it won't work so what is the size of the Marvel Universe? I did a little bit of research. It says trillions, or well, some sources, or some people say trillions of light years. Of course, there's some other people say infinite. Of course, some people also say infinite uh, uh, for even our own universe, but that is unproven. But it cannot be infinite. Like I said before, infinite is just an overly used word by most people. It just It just means something that is very big, you know. So it doesn't really mean it's in, in infinity, especially in the, I think in the movie, they said Thanos killed uh, trillions of lives by eliminating eliminating half of the life in the universe so half of a trillion i mean if half the life of the universe is, is a trillion that means there's only two trillions life in the universe and that is definitely a finite number so using that argument we can say that the marvel universe is not infinite because otherwise half of you know if it's infinite with infinite lives that means thanos would have killed infinite number of lives even you know infinity divided by two or divided by any number is infinity so it's safe to say is you know it's not infinite is tr just trillions uh, but again this word is trillion also another word that is overly used well, obviously, because trillion is the, I believe, one simple reason to explain that is because most people, the biggest number they know heard of is trillion. You know, if they use quadrillion or quintillion, people wouldn't know what that is. Or if you use Googleplex, people probably, the readers, they, they won't know what it is. So, or maybe even the writer, <laughs> they don't know Googleplex. Um, you know, it could be, you know, even the biggest number that the re uh, the writer has ever known is probably a trillion anyway. So this could be just a writing error, or they just try to be, you know, understandable to the readers. You know, not sure, not not to make it too difficult to understand. So anyway, it could be a plot hole, whatever. But let's say it's trillion light years, then, um, then that means. The Infinity Stones is not infinite in power. If it only works within the universe, which is only trillions of light years. Um, so therefore, now we can start this battle. So of course, this battle has to be happen in an infinite playing field, or at least a place that could contain 
grams number of ends so no black holes are allowed um, and of course same thing you no food drink are required for both sides and also they don't die of old age and I have to say this to be fair you know the ends has to be able to kill Thanos that means you know you can say this there are some kind of special ends that can at least hurt Thanos so just like you know let's say to Thanos it might be um, something like fire ends that can hurt a normal people so it has to hurt Thanos for you know somehow uh, you know otherwise it would wouldn't be a fair fight so what would happen so let's say if the infinity stones well some people would say that would be it won't be happening in the Marvel universe because you know Marvel universe is not a infinite playing field but let's say it does work let's say the infinity stones works and but however it can only work within a trillion light years or it doesn't matter or 10 trillion light years radius so beyond that the stone doesn't work so that means at one time at one point um each if Thanos decide to snap his fingers and make the end disappear it can only work within a trillion light years so the ends outside of that trillion light years radius will not be affected the Thanos has to wait for the ends to get in that sphere in order to kill the end so what would happen that means even assuming Thanos, you know, is determined to kill all the ants without making any mistakes or without, you know, trying to rest, then, you know, it would take approximately grams number of years for him to win. Because pretty obviously, grams number is a very big number, way, way, way bigger than most people ever think of. So grams number divided by trillion basically is around G64 grams number. So the time required uh, for Thanos to win is grams number of years. Um, of course, I'm saying you know, com you know, Thanos can completely win, you know, if he's determined. You know, I'm not arguing about that. However, <laughs> since grams number of years is such a long time, I don't know how old is Thanos. Some people say one thousand years old, or you know, even if he's trillions years old, this trillion years is nowhere near Graham's number of years. So I would say, you know, if, if Thanos get tired or, or get bored, then then he will lose to Graham's number. Because, it, it, you know, to normal people, Graham's number is kind of like infinity. I mean, at least it's like limitless uh, amount of N. So if somehow, let's say, Thanos after one trillion years, which is already a very, very, very long time, or maybe even a Google year, if he actually, you know, if he gave up, or he, you know, it's such a long time, if he ever, ever, you know, decide to, uh, you know, he get, you know, people get insane after a certain amount of time. So if, if that happened, then the ends would win. And actually, you know, I also, there's a video about something called the Infinite Jaeger. I mean, it, I think it's related to the Pacific Rim, you know, two people, control a machine something like that if you watch that video you know actually that uh, i think it's called imaginary axis i think so he explained how the infinite jaeger can easily defeat thanos with infinity stones if the infinite jaeger can easily defeat thanos then i think grams of events would have no problem defeating thanos with uh even with all his infinity stones so anyway this is my video so what do you think so leave your comment thanks for watching and have a nice day